We would like to thank Vietnam for graciously hosting APEC this year, and we look forward to the APEC meeting in Papua New Guinea next year. Now it shall be our turn to welcome to Manila our distinguished leaders and guests to the 31st ASEAN Summit and related matters. Ang pinaka meaningful na bilateral ko yung sa Russia pati sa China. And I assured uh, President uh, Xi Jinping of our friendship and that, that it will remain warm and robust. Wala kami yung pinag-usapan na the cabinet members were there, all of them. Member took up, except they say that uh, he's supporting me doing the insurgency practice of drugs and the help that they can uh, extend to us. Yun lang at nagikita ko ang natalo tayo sa rating. Vietnam, who had endured the war for so many years, is. Uh, Hindi naman living off uh, uh, more than the others. But th at the rate they are improving, uh, they will catch up with us in due time. Uh, what would pull us down? It is law and order and drugs and the rebellions. The critical ones, actually, would be how we deal with the MI and MN. Sila lang ang gusto kong kausap. Ayaw ko ng ibang... I will not... Uh, not even... Not even with one sentence, uh, lalo na sa terrorism. Dito lang ako pwede magipag-usap niya. Uh, dito sa... Komunista. So, it's not my place. Kanila yon. Kung nakikita nila na... Mali lahat ang ating ginagawa as they are trying to proclaim on the streets. Then why the heck deal with us? Eh kung ganun pala kami kasama ang gobyerno, kung ano ang -ano pinagsasabi mo, and yet the taxation, makikita mo na sinunog yung trapto, sinunog yung all because of extortion. Uh, was it yesterday or the other day before I left? o may inambo sila na convoy. Namatay yung pulis, pati sugatan ng apat at uh, they also killed in the process, a six-month-old baby. I hope the human rights would take the cudgels for them. Dayo, we will pursue them to the ends of the world. We are guilty of a crime, and then a rebel rebellion sa akin eh. There is no more ideology, so I do not recognize the crime of rebellion. One, because if you're just a member, you can, can sa, bail. And when you want to your bail, go back to the mountains and fight the sol my soldier. Ako yung commander-in-chief, eh. police. Eh, ako, ako yung police ng PNP. Eh, pati yung police pinagpapatay niyo, then uh, we want to start to talk. Uh, I really do not know. I, I, I made something like he promised to them that they would not talk about these matters. But it was given, I think, to Doresa uh, or Bello, I, I forgot, or to the two of them. But oh, I am not bound by any commitment with them. I will do what is the, to the best interest of the Filipino people of my country. Wala na akong ano dyan. If you think that we do not serve your here, because all of us in government are corrupt, tapos mamatay tao, then do not talk to us, period. We can end the talks right here. I really do not care. There's always a time for everything. Maybe lahat ng panahon sa mundong ito may kanya-kanyang. So, there's always a time to talk about peace. If it's needed, then if it's not, then we will fight. But I would not subserve any other uh, interest except the Filipino people. Uh, I, 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 can, I can answer some. Yes, sir. Mr. President, we have a question from Yan Fang Zhu of Phoenix Television. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. President. 
Can you talk louder? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. President. I'm yes. Yan from Phoenix TV, Hong Kong. Um, we interviewed you before your state visit to China last year. Yes. And um, first of all, welcome back. And I know you already uh, mentioned this earlier, but how was your bilateral meeting with um, President Xi Jinping? Was he able to confirm um, when he is coming over for the state visit and maybe what other issues were also tackled? Thank he you. said that he, will, uh, he confirms everything that he promised. And the, the construction of the two bridges that would span Pasig River, the uh, and Zinabinia would start immediately. He said it uh, in front of everybody and uh, John Anyo Nandon because I was uh, worried that if there are some matters which would take a military mind to answer, may pang I have a, a radio reference. But uh, everything uh, went smoothly and uh, the president of China said that he would honor what he promised. And I uh, had a mention about the because I had to answer it myself, because we are the chairman now, me, of the ASEAN. So everything that they wanted to know, so we were joking, we were joking, we were banter between them. Because you we look upon you as a country of, with an honor. I was just trying to perform my duty as the chairman. Wala nang iba. And he understood it. I was talking about uh, Korea and the South China Sea. He gave specific answers and we all listened. And I had to rely on the, my commitment, not, not at this time, but we will talk about this somehow during my term. I was talking about the military build-up system. It's nothing. He knows that if he goes to war, everything will blow up. He acknowledged that war cannot be promoted by anybody, but it would only mean destruction for all of us. And I believe him because, uh, he, like me, he's worried about the health and the problem of his countrymen. We have the same problem. We share the same problem, actually. Governance. Sir, was he able to confirm um, when his state visit to the Philippines will be? Uh, I said, I extended it again, and I would, uh, the Philippines would be honored uh, if he visits us, I said in due time, uh, at the convenience, mutual convenience of both countries. Uh, Haiti promised that uh, he will, um, I also also given again an invitation to go back to China, whether as a friend, official, non, not official visits, that you can go to China if you want to observe anything and promote the same uh, the physical features of what you see now. And you can go there as a tourist and we will guide you and show you the factories and all. And you, maybe you can learn so. Uh, very something very useful for your country. Thank you, sir. Mr. President, we have a question from Trish Terada of CNN Philippines. Hi, Mr. President. Good evening. The opening of the ASEAN lanes caused uh, massive traffic this uh, the whole day here in Metro Manila, especially in our major thoroughfares. And there were really many angry motorists who took their sentiments on social media. Well, my question is, is we know that uh, this is something that you hate. This is something that you don't want to happen. Is this uh, uh, something that you would want the organizers of the ASEAN to address really soon? Yeah, oh, uh, what is best uh, for the moment? What is needed for the moment? We will go by the catchword, need. Is there a need? If there is, then we'll do it. If there is no need for it, and, or if it would be detrimental to the people, then I would not do it. Okay, thank you. We have a question from Nestor Corrales, Mr. President. Nestor Corrales is from the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Good morning, yes, Mr. Sir. President. 
Uh, sir, did you raise the issue on South China Sea and the UN Arbitral Tribunal ruling during your bilateral meeting with President Xi Jinping? Yes. He yeah, discussed the South China Sea. Yes. I said uh, he was quite surprised about my coming in very strong of my statement here about the conduct uh, of the uh, sea. I said, I'm not raising any sovereign issue. Do not worry. But I said, as chairman, I was made it, uh, the, the, you know, the tunnel for the communications to be active. And I said, I had to do it because the Philippines uh, chairs the ASEAN now. And then I'm now putting, uh, I cannot escape that from my duty. We are the, so I have every right uh, to ask him. But I explain it to him in a very nice way that uh, it was all the that was all the rest of it. Now that he have explained and he said uh, he uh, delicious. <laughs>